Hello you amazing hackers, great having you back again. Today is going to be a bit of a special episode because we've reached 1000 subscribers, which I'm very grateful for. I would have never thought there would be this much interest in the videos I make, so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. Today we're going to be telling you a bit about the importance of JavaScript files. Um, I've, I've touched on it a few times in the past, but I've never really gone into detail about why JavaScript files matter so much. So let's go to our juice shop again, we'll go to our homepage, and here we can see a few JavaScript files. Now the first thing I always do when I enter a website is I just go and check out the main JavaScript file, if I can find it of course. So that's what we have open here, we just go to the JavaScript declaration and we open the link. Uh, and then I just copy this over and I paste it into my Visual Studio code and I just pretty print it, I pretty fy the JavaScript. So that way it's a little bit easier to read. Now there are no shortcuts to success. You're going to have to read this full JavaScript file. I know it's like 8,000 lines long, eight th almost 9,000, but you can guess a few things, but most useful will be when you just read the whole thing. If you don't understand something right away, that's okay, just note it down. But static code analysis, is a really important part of bug bounty hunting. A lot of people have asked me how you find hidden endpoints and that kind of stuff. This is usually it. This is a really important source of information, your JavaScript file. And a lot of people will try to obfuscate it, so it's really useful if you know how to deobfuscate this kind of stuff. There are some tools for deobfuscation, but in my opinion, they don't really work that well. It's best to do it manually. So I'm going to be showing you a few of the things you can get from this specific file. So I've analyzed this before. One of the things I found was this administration path. I was trying to go to the admin page on my true shop. So I went to the home page and I tried the usual things I would do when I brute force slash admin didn't return anything. Um, so it, it didn't work. I, of course I tried administration, but they might have just as well called this blah, blah, blah and you would have still gone to the administration panel. So um, when I go, oh, of course I need to log in because I get a 403, so I just log in and to go to the administration login, I just do SQL injection. I also have a video about that, which I will link about. So now when I open the administration page, as you can see, I'll see what happened on my juice shop. So uh, next thing I wanted to tell you guys is the file upload is also described in this specific, um, there we go. So here you can see that there's a file upload functionality described in this specific JavaScript uh, file. Now what this is telling us is that allowed MIME types, it's filtering on the MIME types, the file upload functionality. So only these MIME types are allowed, which will tell us that we just need to change the MIME type if we want to do uh, any file upload exploits and the max file size of course is also pretty important because it will tell you what you can and can't upload. So this will tell you something about the filters that are in place. Sometimes you can also find information about cross-site scripting filters. There's a lot of information in here. Once again you'll have to read the whole document. Now next I want to show you guys is some, um, I'm going to just look for campaigns to see if they have any running campaigns. And as you can see, I can find some information about coupon codes in here, which will also be really interesting, of course. Um, maybe I can find a specific coupon code. Maybe I can find how it's validated. I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, but there are certain things that you can get from this information. Um, there's also some hidden information. For example, if we go to the token sale, App token sale, we can find out that there's a token sale going on soon. We can find out some information about that. I'll also leave over to you guys about what that kind of information is. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys is when I go, for example, to support, um, I can see that there has been some information. Uh, when I translate this information, I already did that for you guys. I get this our support team. Our common secret is Xing and it's something I can't pronounce with the empty master password. So this indicates probably that they have some kind of key pass file or something else that's not really encrypted with another password, just a key file. 
So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is why I keep telling you to read the JavaScript files. I know it's boring to go through pages and pages of JavaScript lines, but it's really a gold mine of information. And I hope you guys will see that when you try it as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Um, it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm and share this video with your friends. Of course, if they're interested in hacking, don't bother them with useless stuff. Um, and I hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.